Good morning, everyone. Today is day one of SEMA. Not bad pumpkin spice. Good morning. Good morning, Las Vegas. I'm Ron Burgundy. San Diego. <laughs> right now it is six in the morning. We were going to go to the gym, but unfortunately, Josh went down there earlier and a man was screaming on the top of his lungs while working out. So, we are not gonna go work out. We're just gonna kind of get ready and then leave for SEMA at 8.30. Never do this. Never do this. <laughs> we, have, we have limitations, but huge shout out to Josh for making breakfast and <laughs> working with what we got. <laughs> got Step Brothers. Uh, what? There you go. Adapt and Overcome. Step Brothers on the TV. And then Be Vegas Skyline. Who is that handsome man right there? Oh, oh, Mike, Mike from Revive Raps? Oh my god. Here we go. Here Look we go. at that. Wow, the material. Oh, stumbling. So we got the full Revive Wraps support going on today. We just did finish eating breakfast. Mike is looking handsome as ever. And honestly, Josh is probably taking shit. Ugh, I just brushed my teeth, that tastes awful. Pitter patter, let's get out her, Mike. Let's get out her. Ooh, ooh, door. Don't forget your blender's eyewear, brother. Oh, gotta go down the right. Not the housing that we did first. Blender's eyewear did not sponsor this video, but if they would like, like to. but if they would like to, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate on it. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. 75 miles an hour in five seconds. Oh, damn. Cool. Flying. That's pretty cool. And on the side of the car, it says hook over heroin, and I'm using the dragster to impact kids. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Oh, that's great. Believe it or not, I'm Cleveland, Ohio. I'm actually okay. a pastor of the church. I'm the world's fastest pastor. <laughs> nice. nice. Right now, we just did get to the convention center. We're about yeah. 30, 40 minutes early. Um, we just tried entering in one of the back doors, and they told us that we could not get through there, so we're walking all the way around. But as you guys saw, that guy was the one of like the world's fastest drag car drivers, and he's a pastor, so that's pretty cool. Huge shout out to him. Maybe later on I'll get some more information on him. But then we have Mike and Josh over here doing the per usual thing. So right now the convention center has not opened up yet, so right now we're looking at the cars outside. We have a lineup of Supras out there. We have more cars in the lot as well. And then, like I said, this is the first building, then you go to the hallway across, and then the convention center is on the other side for the rest of the booths and stuff like that. Get them wide angles, boy. <laughs> All favorite cars so far? Minutes Five minutes, minutes in? Did you get that wide angle I, on it? I have to second his motion. <laughs> I have to second his motion. You have to second it? Thing's pretty cool. Oh, never mind. There's an S14 over there with a big wing. Oh, we have to go look at that then. And we have the Stradman and all air dang purple. The carbon Veloster. Nice top mount wing. Got the AMG with the airlift. Damn. Yep. This might just beat that Supra. Oh, he got the likewise in there. Boy, look at that wide body stinger though. Probably. That's pretty. That pretty is cool. so cool. That tuck game strong. That's really cool. Kia Stinger GT. Damn. Huge shout out to him. Damn, they turned a prelude into a truck. Literally just cut it in half. 
That's crazy. See the transformation at Deviant Customs. Huge shout out to him. This is sick. This is crazy. Maybe we should do a truck conversion to something too. Something drastic for the channel. We definitely need to do something like that. All right guys, so we did just pass through security. Right now we are in the main convention center. Everyone's having meetings and stuff like that. And I don't know anything about this. So we're just gonna follow Josh and Mike since they've been here before and then kind of go from there. It's like Black Friday. Oh no! Oh God. Go, 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 he said yes. I want one of these two things so bad. Shit. Damn, Guires, your booth isn't playing. So right there, you have TJ Hunt's Supra that will be unveiled like at 10 o'clock, I think. So we will probably come back to the booth and check that out. Guys, I haven't even been in SEMA for five minutes and I'm already losing my shit. So this is crazy. Josh and Mike are back there. The Brembo booth is right there. Brown, in about an hour, we're gonna look at the TJ Hunt Supra unveil. And then at 11, they're gonna do his Ferrari unveil on the Toyo Tread Pass. So we're gonna be getting ready for that. But uh, so far, I hope you guys do like the video. I'm already shocked by what I'm witnessing here in SEMA. But I appreciate all you guys that watch these videos. Now we are walking around, just kind of zigzagging, kind of getting a little glance at everything before we do some like thorough looking. Um, right now, we're kind of seeing where the wrap and paint area is for Mike. Um, that's what Mike does. He is a vinyl wrapper and he owns his own business. For those that don't know. Okay, Motorsports, we're talking about the video. Hero 7. Nice. Boom. So right now we're checking out the GoPro booth. Right, we just did enter. So every day at three o'clock they do a drawing for a GoPro and then you have to do a chat and stuff like that. So we gotta make sure we're back here at three o'clock. <gasps> Greddy, Greddy, give me another kit. I need another kit. Someone give me a Pandam kit right now for my FRS. So right now we're looking at the Pandam Supra in the Greddy booth. For those that do not know, my Rocket Bunny V1, V2 kit is from Greddy itself. Authentic, so maybe, Josh is done. So maybe we can talk to someone about getting a new kit. We don't know yet. Oh my goodness. The titanium tips. Damn. I got one of them. You got one of them do hickeys? <laughs> Damn, Greddy. Right now it is 9.30. Um, the unveiling is at 10. So right now we're heading to Toyo Tread Pass. And we're going to go see if we can make it in time for TJ's unveil. Upgrade to Toyo. Huge shout out to Toyo Tires for the lanyard. Now I'm cool like the guys. Damn. You get them angles, boy. Ooh, an FD? Hell yeah, the Toyo Tires booth is not playing, guys. I swear. And then we have over there TJ Hunt's unveil that's going to be happening in like 20 minutes. So we're going to definitely stay here for that and get coverage of that. This is a four, right? Uh, I can never tell the difference between four and five. It could be a four. Got a Varus kit on it. So right here we have Crispy, the cinematographer's legacy, and he got it done just in time. I know yesterday he posted that he was still working on it, but dude, the flake though is nuts. Let's see what else he got? Oh, he got the bag system in the back. Huge shout out to Crispy Media. He killed this build. Looks super, super nice. There she is. Oh, a little teaser at the bottom. So actually, TJ Hunt is right over there talking to some people. But here's the Ferrari. The unveil is, I guess, is about five to 10 minutes. So we're just gonna hang out and wait until then. So right there, we have TJ Hunt and his cinematographer filming, getting ready to unveil the Ferrari. We have everyone lined up and ready. And then Josh is back there. TJ Hunt is giving a motivational speech and I shit to the bed. I had an opportunity to meet him and I shit the bed. I, I should've just said hi. I should've just said hi. Dude, this color is crazy. 
Oh, you got it? Yeah. Fire. So right now for TJ's vlog, he's doing a breakdown of the full build and explaining everything. And then we have the whole group of people kind of just admiring TJ's build while he's doing his thing. Brando. Hey, what up, dude? How you living? Dude, I'm, I'm tired. That was terrible. Yeah. Dude, How you living, bro? And I'm tired. We just ran from south or the front of Westgate to here. It's what my is homie up? Brando from the internet. He Twitter, friends me. Twitter, Instagram, meet your internet friends. Literally. So <laughs> I saw him eating tacos last night and I was like, you know what? That's him. And I messaged him. He's like, it probably was me. He should have just walked up to me. So huge shout out to meet your internet friends. <laughs> huge shout out to Brando. We'll probably see him at the other booth. All right, so huge shout out to the homie Brando from Instagram and Twitter. It's crazy because you just have so many friends all over the place and you finally get up to meet them and they're just probably the coolest humble people. So a huge shout out to Brando. So a huge shout out to TJ. TJ just did the unveil of the Ferrari. Dude, the car looks super good. I'm so happy that you got it done. And then now, in about 50 minutes, we're gonna go check out the Supra, but for right now, we're gonna go look in the other side of the convention center and see what else they have. Okay, <laughs> look at this hidden gem. What's up, little guy? Damn, the Pandem kit with the Toyo tires. I'm vlogging. Damn. Boy. Why would you not have that over there, though? All right, guys, we're sprinting back to the Toyo Tires booth. We found out that they're doing pin drops, and we want to collect them all before they run out. So we got to go. Team Toyo. Boom. Yes. Boom. Fantastic, so he'll yeah. give you a pin. Hey, thank you. Congratulations. Appreciate that. <laughs> hey, check that out. Dope. So right now we're in the South Hall. We have the Nissan booth right behind us. Unfortunately, Josh is looking for a suspension company and they're in the North Hall. They're in the Central Hall. So we're gonna go over there, but we have about 40 minutes until TJ Hunt's other unveil. That's what this vlog's kind of about. It's SEMA day one. So hopefully we get to there on time and then hopefully we find that suspension company for Josh. <laughs> he just sat in there. <laughs> well, you take too long. How does it feel? <laughs> Hello. I'm your Uber. Hello. I like. I like it's like S2000. Like this is high. It's like it's very low. Like S2000, like the center console. Like yeah. It's comfortable. So it's hey, hey! It's the man in the polo. We're here, boys. Is that revive? Is that a revive? I know that guy. Do you know this I know guy? That guy. I know, I know this guy. I know that guy. He's that guy. He's that guy. All right, guys. So we did just check out a project that Mike was working on and helped with. Uh, so basically, we just did a stripe kit on that. So we did the Avery brush steel on the stripes and then a 3M backfire red on the stripe. All right. So that's a huge reason why we're here. For Mike, I'm also doing the media coverage for Mike, but huge <laughs> shout out to Mike. He's one of the hardest working guys I know. Without him, who knows where I would be and without Josh as well. Um, right now we are on the way to the Rays booth. We're gonna go check out some wheels because everyone knows we love us some good wheels. Rays, the concept is racing. Boy, we're gonna buy a set of wheels. This is the car they were drifting here last year. Oh, they drifted this last year? Oh, okay. I'll need to go take a ride in that thing. All right. I'll see what I can do. This thing is crazy. We are outside on the. What are we at? It's just Ford out front. Is over here, so it's just the front of the halls. Okay. So we are out here. We're gonna go past by Ford. There's Adam polishes over there. McGuire's where TJ's BRZ's at, and we're just gonna chill and see what else we can find out here. All right, guys. So we have TJ Hunt's Subaru BRZ right here. This is the first year he ran this livery, and then he has the uh, Meguiar's on top. As we saw earlier, that we did see the Ferrari. Unfortunately, we couldn't watch the Supra unveil. The crowd is way too big. But huge shout out to TJ for just running a massive amount of cool cars at this show. He this guy right here? He does a question crazy now. Yeah, he owns uh, Atlanta Custom Wraps. So he won a Netflix series and then he got a custom wrap? No, he owns a wrap shop. Oh, he owns a wrap shop? Oh, okay. He just won the show. Oh, nice. 
Oh, he's the grand winner? Oh, I see. Damn, that reflection is killing it. Fastest car. Right now we are crossing over the bridge to go to the other building like we said we were gonna do earlier, which we never did because we went back for pins. So right now we're crossing over the bridge and see what else we can find in this hall. Hi. Hi. Good? Yes. Perfect, thank you so much. Hey, number two. Literally, Supra 2020 everywhere. But they have the set of the Workmeisters on there, and then they have the Porsche back there, the BMW out there. And then we have Mike talking out to Low Class Diego. This wing is massive, so massive. Another favorite touch that I do have is, if you look down here on the works, that they have the matte face with the polished gloss lip. And that's a huge touch that I really do like. And then down here on the skirt, you can kind of see the, oh, almost fell. You can kind of see the four or five uh, side skirt lights that really do add touch to the car. So right now we are in the Federal Tires booth. Josh is talking to a representative right now about getting a set for the GTST and seeing what he can do to go on with that process. This is a booth that we really did want to check out. I've been running Federals. Josh has been running Federals on all of our cars. So huge shout out to Federal for talking to us and the guy that gave us the time of day and actually is willing to work with us. Oh, I have not found it. 2517. ST1 cover size. Do they? For sure, right? Oh, I have not. 2540. We brought up a problem. That's crazy. Yes. I run 17s on my Skyline. Oh yeah. And the perfect, the perfect fitment would be a 225 40 17. Not really only, but uh, it's more towards that. Hence it has. And all, all of those four, four tires, yeah. kinds of tires are all the Thanks, man. No it's time for some food. Where are the mini rock stars at? Major necessity. Oh, you even got a snack. Look, look at you. So right here we have Daniel Supra from Premium Auto Styling. He just did a collaboration video with Randy from Eliminate, but this car in person, it does not give it any justice through cameras or pictures. This car is amazing. Huge shout out to Premium, huge shout out to Daniel. This car is just, the color is so nice. Let's get a dismounter for the shop. Yeah, buy, it. buy it? All right, well, I'll buy one and we'll put it in the shop. Buy me a bigger shop. Buy you a bigger shop? Okay. I'll... Yeah, I got some in my pocket. Here we have it, TJ Hunt's brand new 2020 Toyota Supra. He did the unveiling earlier. Unfortunately, we did miss it, but here it is right here. We have the kit on, the carbon wing, and just the black looks so good on it. This is like the third car we've seen today of TJ's, and every car is amazing. But the detail is all where it's at. Definitely clean for sure. Oh yeah. What's that? I like the kit. Oh yeah. Look at the it. wing. The wing isn't so massive. The wing on this one is like really That's nice. What I'm saying like if I were to get one and keep it narrow body. Yeah. Just run that wing. Oh I'm yeah. Sell that wing separate, so it's gonna be. Oh for sure. Do you want to have to buy the And then was this the one with the 3D? And they were gonna make molds of it? Yeah. So this one's 3D printed that he's running right. And then later on they're gonna make molds of it? Yeah. So this will be used to make the mold. Oh, okay, for sure. You know what I like? I like how they have this. Tell me. Instead of the, like, notches. Yeah. Because you and I know <laughs> the notches on my coins were... Just... Oh, oh, yeah, they were so bent. And they're blown. Marco, it's nice to meet you, man. Oh, oh, we're good. Please don't knock Chris. over the coilover. Nice to meet you, bro. They're pretty sturdy. I'm gonna buy that right now. I'm gonna buy when I get back. That works? As long as it works out. Right, cool. Chris. Thanks, guys. Thank guys. Appreciate that. 
All right, guys, so we just did finish up in the first time exhibitors room. That's where we saw Silver Suspension, and Josh got to talk to Chris and Marco about running a setup for the Skyline R32 GTST that Josh owns. Um, we definitely got some good information out of it. After SEMA is done, Josh is gonna send him an email and then kind of go from there, see what he can do to get those on the GTST. So we're currently at the 3M booth right now. Mike and Josh are looking at samples for new colors that are being released for the year 2020 and hopefully getting some ideas for the cars. Is that the goods right there? Is that the goods right there? Is Josh's future color in that stack? I don't know. I don't... Nope. It's not. It's not. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Here we go. Here Perfect. Go. Thank you. Take away a GoPro right here. That's the move right there, boys. That's the move right there. I mean, I love my GoPro. I, would like it. I feel like a GoPro is a GoPro. Didn't win a GoPro. Hey, the cool thing is though, if the person did not come to the three o'clock time frame to pick up their GoPro, people were just flying, like, you know, like next, next. So a huge shout out to that, but we have two other times to, we have two other times to eventually, hopefully, win a GoPro. So right now we're stopping the Monster Booth, get a free monster, and then get another pin, I think it's three o'clock, so hopefully get another pin, and then go from there. I really just need a monster in my life. That book holds so many secrets right there. That book is the move. So that is day one of SEMA. I'm not necessarily gonna end the vlog here because we have more stuff to do tonight and we'd like to take you on it, but Josh is gonna fall asleep while walking. Mike is tired as well. But day one was a huge success. Got a lot of TJ Hunt coverage and I hope you guys like that. But for right now, I definitely think we have a game plan for tomorrow and also we're gonna try and win a GoPro tomorrow again. So more cars content, more GoPro content, and just hanging out in Vegas. So we will keep you guys updated what we do tonight. Oh, we're home. Oh, uh, 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 I'm so tired. Sample me. I'm so tired. Oh, I just uh, want to take a nappy. Uh, uh, uh. Put your ass over. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. That's harassment. God, what in the world? There's Shake Shack, the best burgers in the world. We just are walking the strip. We just stopped at Shake Shack to get a quick bite to eat, and then hopefully later we're gonna hit Top Golf, and then maybe stop at the store and get some things. But for right now, SEMA Show Day One was a huge success. I definitely saw so many things that I was not expecting. But like I said, right now we're kind of just chilling and eating, and then probably gonna go hit some balls later. What'd you get? What'd you get? Already you're up? What? Oh. How's your shack burger? Yeah? Is that the shake of all shacks? She you yet or no? Not yet. That federal hat dough. It's a little hot. Boys, it's time to whack some balls. Whack some balls? Whack a mole. Whack a mole. No, whack some balls. Ooh. I gotta touch it. Level four, bro. Yes, I have. Yeah, so we just did make it to Top Golf. We have the boys back there signing up. They've never been here before. Luckily, we were get allowed to get in earlier, and we are on level four. So the guys have never been here before, and I'm pretty excited to show them what Top Golf's about. Hey! Oh my God! Hit it, Fergie. Damn, dinger. Yeah. yeah, green boy. Hey, there you go. Boys, what is that? What is that? Oh, pissed. Do your thing, Mike. 
<laughs> I hate you. <laughs> there you go. Shooting for the highway. Shit, this is not funny. My Apple Watch flew. It's right there. Where? It's right there. The Where? It's right there. The that black oh. dot. That black dot right there. Damn it. Oh my god, damn it! Oh, there it is, you can see it! Shit! Oh my god. How the fuck do you, how the fuck do you lose an Apple Watch? It literally flew oh, off! Working, it's not even clickbait, I'm dead serious. My Apple Watch flew off. You wanna keep it off? We got, I guess. They threw my Apple Watch, bro. But I already fell four stories. I mean, yeah, I fell. I mean, yeah, I fell four stories, but uh, I don't even know what to say. This is not fake. I. Hey, my points jumped up 50 after my watch fell off. So that's the move, boys. Just take off your Apple Watches on the backswing. I was so worried. Thank you. It's perfect. Hey, we got it back. <laughs> you won both times by yourself, and then he beat me the first time, and then the second time, after losing the Apple Watch, that's the strategy. We both made all of our points like in the last, <laughs> in the last four last strokes. Last <laughs> it's bulking season. I'm not even gonna tell them where you got that burger from. <laughs> all right, besides me losing my Apple Watch, I would definitely say that was a good top golf experience. We'll see you guys. Back to Airbnb. Yeah. All right, guys, we are back from Top Golf, getting my watch. See my day one. Honestly, I have no idea how I'm going to edit this vlog due to the fact that there is so much stuff that I filmed today. But I hope you guys liked the series so far. Um, tomorrow is day two, and of course, we're gonna have the coverage back to back like that. If you guys did enjoy the video, please comment down below. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. But as this video is coming to an end, no matter how far you get in life, to always remain humble and always try to make a difference. Deuce!